So guys, what you're looking at in real time is my 4K Fire Stick Max doing a device restart. We can see that my hands up here, I'm not touching anything. And what I'm hoping is once a device restarts, it's going to automatically load a custom launcher. And this process can be applied to any device. And there we have it guys. So no launcher managers, no ADB. We now have a simple process that we can follow on any Amazon device, allowing us to boot into the Wolf launcher or really any custom launcher or any application that you like. Now, in case you're wondering, because we're not using the launcher manager, what's the actual behavior of applications? Well, here, for example, we can see, like if I open up Me Explorer, click on that, I can use the application. Once I finish using the application, I can press back on the remote, back again to exit. We can see we stay inside the Wolf launcher. So yes, because of the changes from Amazon, we can't use the home button anymore. But using this new process, we can ensure that our device always boots up into the Wolf launcher and any application we launch from the Wolf launcher will always allow us to go back to the custom launcher. So in this video today, let me quickly demonstrate this new method. Very, very easy to do. Works great across all of your Amazon devices doesn't need any kind of ADB or any kind of launcher manager. And I'm sure you'll agree it's a great alternative to the previous method. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to try this new method on any of your Amazon devices, just open up Downloader, make a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in that short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on Go, and this will take you directly to my site. Now, once you get there, if you click on the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines, click on that and then click on Tutorials. And what I've done is I've got one main tutorial page which covers the launcher manager and the wolf launcher and some of the other tweaks, including the custom wallpapers. All of that is on a single page. And I've added this new application to it. So if you scroll down from the top, this one here, so launcher manager for Fire OS 6 and Android TV devices. I might actually move that to the top of the list when this video goes out, but that's the page you want to open. Let's click on that, scroll down, and we can see under the software, we have the launcher managers for the different devices, but in this example, we're going to use this new application called Launch on Boot. So let's click on that. I can scroll down and click on this green download button. And this will download the application directly onto my device. I already have the Wolf Launcher installed. I can click on install. That's now all done. I can now press the home key. And here is the new application. And as I mentioned before, you don't need to use this application to go into the Wolf Launcher you really can choose any application that you like. So some of you may be using the K application as a home media center. Well, you can use this application to always boot into that custom media center. Similarly, if you're using another launcher like the Leanback launcher, again, you can use this application to always boot directly into that custom launcher. Let's open that up. The application has a very, very minimal basic interface, it has a quick intro telling you how to use the application. We can press right on the remote, press right again, click on get started. Let's get started. And here we are guys, we just have three individual toggles. So first thing we want to do is go to enabled. Let's click on that. We've now turned that on. And we now want to select an application which is telling you which application do you want to boot when your device first turns on. And you can see in the last option, we can even get this to start the application when your device wakes up from sleep. So I'm gonna to go to select app. This will now do a scan of your device and show you all of the applications on here. So you can see guys, I could set any of these applications to launch. Here we have the Wolf Launcher. But for example, I could use any of these other applications. But for this demonstration, let's just select the Wolf Launcher. Let's click on that. Now, strangely enough, when I enable this option, the application I've selected actually disappears. So I don't know if that's a slight bug, but we can actually leave this off, turn the last option on, and this will ensure that the application that we've selected, in this case, the Wolf Launcher, 
should automatically restart as soon as you reboot the device and also when the device wakes up from sleep. So I'm gonna leave everything as is. And in fact, if I click on test, this will just confirm that it is using the right application and we can see our booted up directly into the Wolf launcher. Now, of course, the real test is to actually restart the device. So if I hold the play and the select buttons together for about eight seconds, that will reboot the device. And let's see exactly what happens when the device restarts. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag wolf, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Okay, so the device is now uh, almost restarted. I'm not gonna touch the remote. You can see here, we get to see the profiles, but again, I'm not gonna touch the remote. And in a couple of seconds, I'm hoping that the launch on boot will do its job and boot directly into the custom launcher. So I really do think this is a great alternative for the people that can't use custom launchers anymore. Maybe because your device has the latest Amazon update, or maybe your device can't use the launcher manager because ADB is not available, like the Fire OS 5 devices, then this really is a great method for you to boot always into a custom launcher where again, you don't see any adverts, no sponsored content, no promoted applications. And of course you can fully customize this and get it looking exactly how you like it. Now, as I mentioned before, the way that we can ensure that we don't go back to the stock launcher is when you're finished using an application, always use the back button to exit out the application. So here, for example, we can see I'm using Downloader. I can go into that. But again, once I've finished using Downloader, I'll press back on the remote, back again, and this ensures that I stay inside the custom launcher. For example, I'm using the HeroGo application. Click on that. I can see the content in here. And again, when I want to exit, press back on the remote, click on close, and we stay inside the custom launcher. Now, now unfortunately, that's not going to work for every single application. Like I know, for example, YouTube will always exit out back to the stock launcher. So if that happens on your device or with your application, you will have to manually start the Wolf launcher again. But generally guys, for most of the applications, you can stay inside the custom launcher. You can launch any application that you like. And again, using this custom launcher will ensure that you won't see any adverts, no sponsored content, and none of that Amazon below. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you are looking for another method on how you can keep using a custom launcher especially since the latest update from Amazon broke the launcher manager. So I do think this is worthwhile checking out. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.